Hey guys, Arcade Adam here. Uh, I'm shooting another vlog style video. I think this is going to be more fitting now that I'm back to work in the pandemic situation, but um, wanted to follow up on my post about the new Stream Deck I got. So as you can see, I configured it for a payphone keypad because the Techno Parrot Batman game can use the keypad to log in and save your profile. And also at the end of the game, Alfred sends you a one-off code to enter, uh, you know, and it's timed, so you have to do it quick, to disarm the nuclear weapon. Uh, sorry, spoiler alert. So I was just going to get that on camera for you real quick. Let me start loading this thing because it's a techno parrot game, so it takes a hot second. Um, hold on, did I get that? There we go. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, I just think it's cool because this thing can be configured to automatically detect the game you're running and configure itself. So right now I just have kind of a test. I've got the keypad and then I've got volume and then I've got that text key up there because uh, initially it wasn't working. You have to do a little trick to get it to work. Um, I had this all set up. I was testing it in Notepad. It would send you know, the number values, no problem, star, pound, whatever. You'd get in the game, and it would do a bunch of nothing. So, what the hell? Uh, the trick is, you have to find the Steam Stream Deck, sorry, executable, and go into compatibility mode, and set it to run as administrator. So you have to give it administrative rights, and then, um, hopefully, as this finishes up, I'll prove to you that that works, because you can sign in... <laughs> So here's the keypad. I'm trying to get that in frame for you guys. So here we go. Here's my secret code. Oh, that's the back button. There we go. And so now with the steering wheel, I can enter my name and it'll save my progress. Let's go with uh, Arcade Adam, of course. I don't think it'll fit, but... <laughs> got to be accurate. There we go. We almost got it. So now we can pick our mission and if, oh yeah, Mr. Freeze Hard, the game needs us to input a code, we can come down here to the keypad and I made it, you know, look like a payphone because, you know, 80s Batman movie awesomeness. You can customize those icons anything you want. So I'm going to go back and take this text test button off and put the Batman button on it. Because that's the, um, as you see when this loads up, when the Joker starts talking to you, or Mr. Freeze, I forget, you need a custom Batman button to skip. And right now that is this button on my steering wheel. And who the heck would know that? But I can make it look like that icon on there. So this is help, you know, your friends and family come over and, uh, you know, help them sit down in this thing. Just use the volume down. So there you, there's that, you can see the volume working. But anyway, it helps them sit down and play the game without you having to babysit them. That's the whole point, right? So just a little bit, uh, you know, helps them do stuff. Oh, it looks like I need to calibrate. This thing's all over the road. It's just hard left. But anyway, short video, vlog. Um, I think I'm going to do uh, a quick walkthrough of my racing sim after this because I've not only just added the Steam Deck, I added some new pedals. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me see if I can brighten it up for you. But these are brand new pedals and the whole point was now I have clutch because I also have a shifter. So be right back and I'll show those things off with you with some more light so you can see what I'm working with. Okay guys, as promised, with the lights on this time, um, I don't think you've seen my hard-mounted uh, uh, Logitech flight stick. So what I did was I mounted the rig a little bit. I bought some uh, extruded aluminum. So this stuff is common for putting together 3D printers. And I just kind of ran some uh, bolts through it and made a frame for the bottom of the joystick and bolted it straight in there. I don't know if you can see the cage nuts and everything but basically 
that screw and that screw is holding this thing on tight. Like it's, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's one of the most hard mounted things on this rig and it's fantastic. So what I've been playing, I've been playing a lot of Microsoft Flight Simulator, as you guys may or may not have seen based on how you guys follow my social media. Um, so I added a little webcam and then I actually use my phone as a second view, kind of an over, over, over the shoulder view. So you can see what I'm doing on the flight stick and the throttle, which I already had mounted. And then over here, this is the amplifier for the butt kicker. Uh, this is the remote for it, so I had it off. And that just takes the sound card output and tosses it into the butt kicker back here, which shakes the whole rig pretty violently and gives a really cool feedback experience. And you can turn the sensitivity up and down as you're in the game with this right here. Uh, so, cause sometimes it's a bit much, especially when you're flying airplanes and it's just a constant drone of the engine. Um, the other thing I added was the shifter and getting in and out of here is a little rough. So I put it on a pivot. So what I did was I mounted, again, I drilled some custom holes and I think what I'm going to do, this is a little long. I've been hitting my shin on that. That's not fun. So I think I'm going to come back with a cutoff wheel and maybe cut that off and then 3d print like a a little cover for it because I know it's going to be sharp edges. But anyway, this part rotates. And then once I'm sitting down, I can reach back and tighten it up. And if I tighten up both of these, it doesn't go anywhere anymore. It's solid. And then now I've got a H pattern shifter for Lamborghini mode, which is awesome for outrun uh, coast to coast, or you can set it up for sequential. You can just leave it in two and four. So for the main games that just do up and down shift, uh, you can use it for that. So now the sim rig's kind of complete. And also one more thing, uh, I was in Batman and I was just shooting this video and I just noticed Batman supports surround sound. So <laughs> guys, if you got a, got a surround sound setup, make sure that's working. Cause I, I noticed uh, when the bullets started flying, I was hearing it come from behind me. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I've got the uh, 5.1 and the sub is way back down there and then plus the butt kicker i mean other than a full motion sim i think this is uh pretty much it just got to do some wire management i plan on uh, 3d printing a bracket for that and kind of making a dashboard over here i'm going to add a button box over here um some other stuff maybe a tachometer maybe some uh rpm gauges things like that like uh, the led shift lights kind of thing along with the tack but we'll see I will update you guys when I get there. Thanks for watching. This is just a quick one. Click uh, like and subscribe, all the usual things. And I will see you guys later.